Mate guys, this is Denso, and today we're going to get hit with firewalls. No, just kidding, we're going to be getting hit with uh, nothing. We're actually going to go ahead and go over supers, I'm sorry, the special moves, his super move, and his ultra. Z there we go, ultra Z whole purpose of this video would be to understand his specials so that you can use them correctly and effectively. We want to start off with his run based specials. We'll be starting off with the habanero dash, which is done by pressing quarter with doing quarter circle forward and pressing any punch button. The move makes him run forward at a high speed for about two seconds. Yeah, about two seconds, I'd say just under two seconds. And then he complete and then he stops if you don't input anything. Unlike Guy, he will continue to run. He will not stop when he gets on on top of them. Uh, it's very useful because, of course, while you're running at them, that's where you do one of his many follow-ups. We're going to go ahead and cover those in a bit. You can also use the EX version by pressing any two buttons and pressing the punch button. You can negative edge this move. Now, at the same time, okay, I'm sorry, negative edge means you pressing, say for example, I'm pressing, I just hit jab. Now, I'm still holding jab. You can see it right here, I'm still holding jab. And I'm going to go ahead and do a quarter circle forward and let go punch. And voila, you have a, have an arrow dash. Now, you can do the same thing with EX. By doing, doing an EX have an arrow dash, you do the two, you press two buttons instead of one when you do the move. Same thing, he's going to run forward. Now, the unique qualities of EX Run is that it has two hits of Hyper Armor, or Super Armor, or whatever they want to call it. Let's observe. Ryu is going to throw a three-hit Fireball. Oh no, he's going to crouch. We're going to have him throw a three-hit Fireball now. There we go. Now, of course, he got hit with the third hit, because he can only take two hits. Now, moving on from there. Let's go ahead and go into its follow-ups. Uh, before that, though, the two hits that you can absorb with the Hyper Armor counts as if you were doing a focus attack. So you will gain Ultra Meter when you absorb those hits. You'll also gain a little bit of Super Meter. Very important, though, uh, <clears throat> any move that breaks armor, just like it breaks a focus attack, it will break El Forte out of his EX run. Obviously, it costs one stock of EX, which you'll see at the bottom of the screen. Moving on, let's go into the follow-ups that happen when you do his run. When you are running forward, if you press the light punch, you will stop on a dime. It is a three-frame stop. Do not let anyone trick you. It is a three-frame stop, not a one-frame stop. Now, once you do that move, it's actually very useful because when you do it, you know, it's three frames. It's pretty fast. But it's also useful because of the fact that you can use that as a bait. It's a basic bait. It's a basic feint. Sometimes just by running, you can get an opponent to press buttons or, you know, maybe even mash out an ultra or a, or a dragon punch or anything like that that has high recovery out of desperation. And then you can proceed to punish them for doing so. So that's very useful. You'll be using sudden stop the most out of all of your moves. This is probably the one thing you're going to be using the most in the game. It's very useful, it's very important. So you need to know to use it very frequently. Next from there, we're going to go into what happens when you press medium punch. When you press medium punch, you will do his tostada press, AKA Splash Mountain. This is probably one of the moves that people online hate the most of his. It's decently fast. You can cross up with it as you just saw. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to do it at the same time, in the same spot, three different times to show you the three different ways you can use it. The move can be controlled by holding the stick or pad forward, kneeling it neutral, or pressing it back. If I press it, if I'm, I'm going to jump right here, right on, right in front of Evil Ryu. If you go ahead and you press, if you just leave it alone, you're going to notice I'm going to cross him up. You can cross up with this. Okay, you can cross up with Tostada Press. If I hold back, I ended up being right in front of him. And if I hold forward, I went past him. So that that's sufficient to show you know to show what I was trying to tell you. You can't control the distance. It's useful in that respect because you can be across the screen and you can read a bad a badly thrown fireball by your opponent. You can jump right over it. Okay. So, I'm not that time to properly that. Now, there, like you just saw, 
I practically went right through the fireball. That's because of what this Tosada Press has some invincibility on the way up. This is very, very useful. So if you read a fireball while you're running at them, then that's a perfect opportunity to go ahead and hit them with a splash. And, you know, now you got them for some free damage. Now they're knocked down. Now they got to react to whatever you're going to do next. A frequent tactic that some people do, my, I do it myself, is taking opponents to splash mountain, as people say, which is just basically doing nothing but spamming splashes repeatedly back and forth, back and forth across the splashes, doing it in front, doing a cross up, you know, doing it running backwards, etc until the either the opponent dies or they're dazed or they're confused and they don't know what the hell is going on and El Forte wins anyway which is exactly what we want in any case uh that doesn't really work against people that have a brain but as uh ski sonic would say if the you know everything that we're doing is under the basis that the opponent is at least halfway decent with his character if he doesn't then you should throw your strategy out the window and wait for your opponent to kill themselves because you can't, you know, you can't mix up a blind man and you cannot outthink a brick. Okay? So, yeah, Ski Sonic stays, you know, always speaks the truth. Anyway, the Tostada Press is useful in that respect. Let's move on to the next move. Actually, no, before that, the Tostada Press does a total of 100 damage and 100 stun. The move can be backdashed if the opponent reads it correctly. Uh, if they neutral jump when they're on wake up, it, they, it may miss depending on how you time it. They can focus attack it. The move has to be blocked standing. Okay, you have to block the move standing. To showcase my point, we're going to have Ryu crouch and put him on all block. I'm going to still start up press. You'll notice he'll stand up. So you have to block it standing. Moving on, let's go ahead and go into Fajita Buster. Fajita Buster is done by pressing Fierce Punch when you're doing a forward habanero dash. It does 120, I'm sorry, 150 damage and 150 stun. The move is basically, you know, basically looks exactly like Habanero that I'm sorry, like Tostada Press. The only difference is that it is a command grab. You cannot focus it. It will break armor. But the one disadvantage of the move is that the, the opponent has to be on the ground and they have to be standing. If they're crouching, you're going to miss. On a side note, on Bon Tostada Press and Fajita Buster, they both, regardless of where you land, doesn't matter where you land, El Forte will always roll away from them. Period. Doesn't matter what happens. He will, he will always roll away from them. This is constant. So, the Fajita Buster, you mainly want to use the move when the opponent is getting intelligent to blocking your splashes. In case the opponent are going to do two splashes, where you end up blocking correctly. So, we'll knock him down. And then he gets Fajita Buster. So, this is a basic mix up tool for El Forte. Personally, you, I, I believe that you should really only use the Heater Buster against opponents that are really blocking a lot, that are very defensive. But the problem is, is that if they hold down back, then there you go. So it's kind of risky to use. You want to use it, you know, when you know that that's what the opponent is going to do. It's best used if the opponent is focus happy. On that note, the actual grab box for the move is actually pretty good. Let's keep going. The next move we're going to cover will be what happens when you press light kick you're going to do his back step back step is pretty nice the reason being is because back step moves him back farther than his back dash that's where his back dash moves him and basically his uh excuse me his back around his back step gets him just slightly farther now the only thing that sucks about it is that unlike his back dash it does not have any it doesn't have any invincibility What's it useful for then? When you're doing the move, you can buffer soup, you can buffer ultra, you can buffer super. So it's a lot easier to buffer special moves while he's in the middle of taking that action because once he stops moving, he's good to go. Okay? He's already moving forward. Well, I was moving forward, etc. So you can use that, for example, when you knock them down, you can go in, do that, buffer the move. And then you can go ahead and, act and, you know, do whatever move you want to do. Like, for example, like I just did, I just did the X-Wakamoli. You know, that's what you can do with backs with uh, backstep. It's pretty useful in that effect. So, you know, you can mix in either or. Just be careful, though, because if you're too close when you do backstep, then certain moves may be able to hit you. So do mind, you know, do mind your spacing. Now, moving on from there. Uh, actually, before that. You cannot control the distance of this move. It's not like Tostada Press or Fajita Buster. 
moving on, we're going to cover his Gordita Sobat. Gordita Sobat is done by running forward with the habanero dash and pressing medium kick during the run. Now, this move is another kind of strange one. Uh, the one use of it is that, you know, the one of the things that's unique to it, as opposed to other run-based specials, is that it is cancelable into super. And it is also the only one out of the, excuse me, it is the only move out of his run specials that can be cancelled by FADC. Of course, you, all you gotta do is do focus sec while you're in the move, while you're doing the move. And then, of course, you can do whatever. You can either let it rip, you can dash forward, or you can dash back. Now, when you score it, when you score a hit with it, you're actually left at one frame of advantage. You can link crouching jab. Okay. Unfortunately, crouching light doesn't meet. So, what's the main use of this move? You can catch back dashers with this move. The move does not break armor. It is one single hit. Uh, it's got a bit of recovery on block and on whiff, so be careful. You mainly want to use it if your opponent loves to backdash. That's the main use for it. And then you can go ahead and poke out that, you know, crouching light punch since you are at one frame advantage. That's pretty much the only real use for the Gordita Sobat. You can cancel into super and you can cancel, I'm sorry, and you can FADC out of it. So you can use that to maintain pressure when it gets blocked and so on and so forth. Otherwise, I don't really use it. Let's move on into the Calamari slide, which is what happens when you press uh, hard kick while you're running. Calamari slide recovers slower than his, than his crouching hard kick. That being said, it is very useful, for example, when a person is throwing a fireball at you and you, for example, EX run through the fireball, and then you go ahead and hit him with a slide. It's very good because it punishes it punishes a lot of fireball throwers. I believe one of the few exceptions will be Sagat if you read it incorrectly, and it's pretty. And I'm pretty sure Guile is safe if he's throwing a light sonic boom. So the only way you're really gonna punish his light sonic boom is if you basically, you know, predict it and you run early, you know, slightly early, or we've, you know, pretty much perfect timing. So, where do you want to use running slide or calamari slide? Like that. Like that you prevent yourself from getting punished. This move can be focused. As I mentioned, it is unsafe. So you want to use it specifically for guaranteed punishes. For example, an opponent throws a, a jumping, you know, dragon punch or something. Or, for example, a Akuma player throws an air fireball poorly. You can run right under the fireball and hit him with the slide. Or if you block a Blanca horizontal ball, you run right out of that block and then you hit him with a slide. That's what you want to use it for. You want to use Calamari slide when you know it's going to hit. Use it for proper punishes, nothing more. It's very risky using it by itself or naked, if you will. So be careful with that. You know, it's more obvious than you think. That covers his front normals. Now, another little trick I like to do with Tostada Press before we go on into this back run. I'm gonna have Ryu throw his fireball again, right? As we mentioned, EX Run has two hits of armor, right? I'm gonna get hit by it, of course. I'm gonna get hit by it again because I'm stupid. There you go. As you saw, before I was, you know, dropping things like an idiot, you can cancel into his Tosada Press while you're taking hits with El Fortes EX Armor. What does that mean? You can take two hits from a three hit fireball like Akuma's or Evil Ryu's and you can go ahead and jump over it. There you go. So you can use that to your advantage. Like that you'll still get your two hits of focus into your ultra meter and then you'll still punish him with a tostada press. Very very useful in that respect. Don't forget that. Very useful. At the same time, you can also just block the two hits from, let's say, for example, you know, regular reuse EX Fireball and just stop right there. Bit of a waste of meter, though, but depending on your opponent, you never know. Let's move on into his back specials. Actually, no, we're not because this has gone about 15 minutes and I don't want the video to drag on and bore you to death. So we'll cover the next in the next part.